Well, everybody, you know I love to garden. You know I'm a meteorologist. I love the science behind all this stuff. So when it comes to Halloween, I dig the science as well. So we brought in the Imagination Station, and Carl's here to show us some great little magic tricks when it comes to science. So what do we have to do today? We have dry ice today. Mm -hmm. And because dry ice is very, very cold, it's 109 degrees below zero, we want to make sure we have a glove on okay. before we're going to touch it, and also our safety glasses. Got it. So okay. Make sure you have your glasses on. We we'll don't want do. any of this jumping into our face. Okay. Now, the cool thing about dry ice mm -hmm. is that it's 109 degrees below zero. Mm -hmm. It never turns. Go ahead and pick up a piece with your glove there. Okay. It never turns into a liquid. It goes right. directly from the solid phase into a gas. Mm -hmm. And you can see that um, right now, that there's kind of like this fog coming off yeah. of it. Go ahead and throw your chunk of uh, dry ice right into that right water. Right in there, okay. Cool! You put it in the water, <laughs> you can actually see the carbon dioxide gas coming off. Now you got cold air or cold carbon dioxide coming off. You got moisture, you're creating fog. Right. And you guys, so you guys were talking about safety earlier, right? Mm -hmm. This is if you're going to work with dry ice during Halloween, this is the kind of container to do it in because if you get little kids, it's hard for them to get their hands down yeah. to touch it. Is that you don't groovy put it or what? Ball. Well, how long will that start continue to bubble? That hook will probably go about 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So the other neat thing about uh, carbon dioxide is that when you mix it with water, it creates something called carbonic acid. Okay, so I have an acid base indicator in this container. It's green right now, showing it's alkaline. But if we drop in some dry ice, that carbonic acid will start to build up inside. Me. And you get a nice change to a sort of a uh, Halloween-y sort of orange color there. Yeah. Now you can't taste the carbonic acid unless I were to perhaps have you stick your tongue out and we'll squirt some on there. Does that taste kind of like a Sprite or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get that carbonic bite yeah, on your tongue. I do, I, I taste it. Which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Now, another cool thing you can do if you have some dry ice at home, and you probably have seen these cauldrons yes. that are around at Halloween time. I got one. What I need you to do is throw a couple hunks of dry ice into this big okay. beaker. Oh, oh, into right the there. Get first. into the warm water. We want to get some nice fog coming off. We're going to load okay. that thing up. Load it up. And we're going to put it right inside the cauldron. <laughs> we got all this fog coming up. Now, the cool thing with this is we want to capture it inside a soapy film. Okay, right? we do? Okay. We do. It'll we be, do. It'll we be very cool. We want to do cool. that. <laughs> so I've got a rag here that I've soaked in some bubble juice. Okay. And I'm just, I'm going to get you wet here. I can really smell that. That, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. And if I can get a film to form on the top, oh, geez. we capture all the fog inside. And because it's building up pressure, it's building up pressure, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And at some point, it's going to burst. And the question is, will the fog raise up in the air or will it go down? Ooh, what do you think at home? Oh, look at this go. This is so cool. It's especially, I think it's going to sink. It's especially cool if you put a flashlight inside. Is it? OK. And it's amazing how big the bubble gets. All you did was just, just wipe that across the top, and it just made, oh. And it, it sinks. Pop it and it sinks Sinking because carbon dioxide is heavier heavy. than air. Yeah. So really cool thing you can do at home with a cauldron, some dry ice, <laughs> and a soapy rag. Yeah, you're really just making simple. your own little uh, bubble wand We're on top of the cauldron. Absolutely. You are fun at parties, aren't you? Do we have any more? <laughs> we have like 15 sure, seconds yeah, to go. go ahead and dip your hand in that soapy solution. It's my hand in. Get it wet. Bubbles don't like dry skin. Okay. Now carefully stick your hand right through the bubble film and it should not break. <gasps> huh? Is that cool? So that was very cool. And when, it hit, when it hit your dry skin, <laughs> yeah, that's when the bubble Yeah, it did. Broke. Right there is where I stopped. That is really neat. So a lot of fun you can have with dry ice. But again, remember, if you're going to use it around kids, put it in a tall container so okay. that they can't get to it. Very fun, Carl. All I right. think our Halloween party is going to be really great now. Now that we all have all this dry ice. Stay right there. We'll be back with even more weather, crazy weather when we come back. Cool.